crying for her father. This girl is terrified he won't make it out of their building, which has been hit by a Russian strike. This is the centre of Mariupol, which has been surrounded and bombed by Russian forces for nearly two weeks. Suddenly, someone shouts, it's a warplane, and they run into a building for cover. Bombs outside echo against the walls. They're not safe here. <laughs> Finally, for the first time, a few hundred people have been successfully evacuated, but nearly half a million are still trapped here. In cities on the other front lines of this war, 4,000 people have been able to leave in the last day. A nine-storey apartment building in the north of the capital, Kiev, was hit by Russian artillery. This elderly woman was caught inside. Most of the residents had got out just in time. I asked the whole world to help make these non-humans disappear from our Ukraine. Ukraine's west is mourning dozens of lives lost in a strike on a military base startlingly close to the Polish border. They come in here to kill Putin, uh, coming to our homes, to our families and bring just uh, pain, just death. Today, this young man named Vladimir was remembered as a soldier, a protector and an angel of Ukraine. The citizens of this country are being forced to get used to a tragic new reality. Funerals for young men are being held with greater regularity every day. His mother's cries echo the agony of a country holding out against a campaign of brutality. Sean Rubenstein Dunlop, ABC News, Lviv.